Being a Thomas Shrevet day or two early allowed us to go and explore. So the first morning we went exploring and we decided it's time to go and get some breakfast. And the thought was we do some more exploring after breakfast. Sophie was super eager to meet us, the little Jack Russell that chases the spring bug. Mark was kind enough to give us a lift to breakfast. Obviously we didn't take any footage of breakfast, we were super hungry and just wanted to go flying. Bush camp landing, we made it a quick one, turned around and got flying again. Farm runways provide luscious long runways made of grass. Just don't land there with a tailwind. After spending the morning exploring, we decided we should go and take a nap. It could be a pretty good idea. We also sorted ourselves out with lunch and thought maybe we can put in a sunset session. Galinda, what are you doing? Drawing my pants. <laughs> <laughs> what, on the back of her? Bucky, no, a plant bucky. <laughs> on? <laughs> on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we'll literally sitting on the couch. Yeah. 
few of us took the opportunity to go and get some circuits in whilst the wind allowed it as it was blowing out from the south which allowed us to land on the uphill which is totally beautiful. Long. For some reason we didn't take much footage of the evenings, we just hung out as friends and had a good time. We also chatted aeroplane and which was pretty cool. Reed uh, set up a briefing where we could talk about all kinds of things that we had in mind and you know we could just talk aviation. The next morning we tried not to get the bucky stuck again. Well, some of our friends caught up on sleeping, a couple of other guys thought, hey, let's go and explore, which was pretty cool. A unique opportunity presented itself, and I thought we need to go to the pin tank. Before we knew it, it was dinner time already. We had to prepare for the next day because there was a lot in store for us. Then they ended the evening off by judging landings uphill at Thomas River. Everyone bounces these landings, most of the time in any way. Okay, what did you do? I lost my phone. Where did you lose your phone? Well, I took photos of you guys. <laughs> the next morning we provided a pretty big struggle, a traffic struggle. We got stuck in traffic on the farm roads. The next morning operations and the engineers made sure that we had fuel. We had a big day in store for us. There was clay pigeon shooting, eating sausage rolls, short landing competitions, counting sheep and even some shooting involved. He 
each challenge was held at a different strip, which meant that we had to fly to two or three different strips during the challenge, which made it interesting. We thought it was a pretty good idea to have Jean do the first shot <laughs> and some Tianin. Spot landing at Rexfield. I think I'm just gonna land normally. I can't hear like a number. Yeah. I'm just gonna ignore the, the thing. Come back, Yankee Sport Finals. I'll run to the end. Once we had all missed landing on the line, so if the little Jack Russell chased us to go and count sheep. So you say we want the sheep count. Jack Russell, they got my Yankees, taking off one five uh, route in Thomas River. We definitely wouldn't have done this stuff at home. Take on my Yankee Sunny final. Thomas River Traffic Fox Road, Yankee Juliet joining. But left fight. We had no idea what was waiting for us next. Similar to the sheep we just counted, we had to walk in a line to the next challenge. We will put Tian up first. As usual, Tian refused to let anything get in his way and got on to business. Something great about this trip was the social aspect. It was pretty cool being able to hang out with like-minded people. The next morning we had to get on our horses and head back. It would be a long day. One shot, seven hours. Sure, I need to think now. I need to. Uh, I think my highlight was definitely the farm life and the landing on new strip. It sounds good. It was really nice. I think everything was cool. Like I can't single out anything. I say. And looking back, like sure, we need to go back to work and stuff. But I think what was cool about it, like the whole trip, like there's so many stories. Every day had its own thing. Like the first day we all we started, okay, we. Like we need to go now, we're not going. I'm sure it was really stressful, but we got away. No, and I think like what was nice, every day was something new, something we haven't done, and you know. And like even today, it's the longest I've ever flown in one, like yeah. one day. Echo Mike Yankee's on a short final for two three for the gravel full stop. It's sending uh, uh, left by two three for the plane. If you've made it this far, thanks a lot for watching and then a massive thanks to Reed and his partners for pulling the Thomas River adventure together. We'll definitely be there next year.